Hey, it's Shonda, and welcome to Real Food and Drinks. Today we'll be making vegan meringue cookies using aquafaba. Aquafaba is chickpea water. Well, what's chickpea water? It's the water that's left over after making chickpeas. So let's get started. We're going to use 3 fourths cup of chickpea water or aquafaba in this recipe. This recipe will make about 24 of about an inch and a half size cookies. Cream of tartar acts as a thickening agent. So we're gonna use 1 4th teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now let's get to whipping. I'm going to be using my freestanding mixer and I'm gonna mix this on high to really get those bubbles going. So here we are at one minute, two minutes, now we're at three minutes. After about three to four minutes, we can add sugar. I'm using an unbleached sugar, and this one is actually a Demira sugar. And you do want to make sure that you are adding in the sugar as slowly as possible. Just give it time to dissolve. Next, I add in stevia sweet leaf sweet drops. This stevia already has vanilla flavor added to it. Because I did not have any vanilla extract, I decided to use this as a flavoring instead. I also enjoy the taste of ginger, so I added in about a fourth of a teaspoon of the dry spice of ginger. You could also use peppermint, for example, in place of vanilla. Let's do a test to see how well formed the mix is at this point. And it's coming along pretty well but I'll continue to mix for about another minute. Now let's scoop some more out in. It's much thicker. I think it's ready to go. The amount of this recipe will make two full sheets of a 12 by 17 pan. Next, I'm gonna use a pastry bag with the piping in. I had a pastry bag, but I couldn't get it to quite work, so I just decided to use a plastic bag with the piping in. This job was quite messy, but guess what? I could lick my fingers because there's no dairy or any eggs used in this recipe. So then I began piping the meringue onto the parchment paper in the pan. And I am no expert at this. I tried a few different piping tips and it was going okay, but eventually I just started plopping the meringue onto the baking pan using a spoon. I cooked this for about an hour. I've seen in some recipes where they have used a dehydrator to bypass the oven altogether. Here are my vegan meringue cookies and they were yummy. Since I had leftover meringue, I decided to make something else. I made vegan meringue lemon dessert. Not a pie, because I didn't take the time to make a crust. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the like button below. And hit the subscribe button if you'd like to receive notification when new videos are released. This is Shonda. Please join me again.